guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have one here from Century Wings, of course. It is an F-14B Tomcat. It is from the VF-101 Grim Reapers, and uh, I paid $180 off uh, seller on eBay, of course, a private seller on eBay, and uh, the VF-101 um, was the second squadron, actually, to be called the Grim Reapers, uh, the first being a World War II squadron, the VF-10, uh, which was disbanded after World War II. The VF-101 was created in uh, 1952, uh, flying missions in Korea, actually. And uh, as we open this up and have a little look inside, here's the typical Century Wings deal. Um, I reckon it looks looks very nice indeed in that packet. And uh, in the mid-70s, actually, the VF-101 Grim Reapers would get the F-14 Tomcats and they would continue uh, to fly them until the squadron disbandment in 2005. Um, although the VF-101 was reactivated briefly in 2012 as VFA-101, uh, flying aircraft carrier-capable F-35C Lightnings, and uh, in 2019 the unit was actually again disbanded. All right, well, instead of looking at this Black Century Wings box, I reckon we get this uh, tomato out and have a real good look at it. And as usual... These Sentry Wings, they do have that awesome detail with instructions and everything like that uh, in the inside of the box, making some great use inside that uh, box. And of course, the ordnance packet in the flap of the lid as well, which you have to make sure you have open prior to pulling that uh, packet containing the aircraft out. All right, let's have a look at this F-14 Tomcat B. So with this uh, Grim Reaper F-14 uh, Tomcat out of the box, it uh, comes with a stand, a typical sort of sentry wing stand with that clear plastic that needs to be assembled. We'll open that plastic lid, get rid of that as well. Um, in the lid it does have the uh, sentry wings collector card, I suppose. There is a limited amount of these made. There are only 1,200 of these made worldwide. We'll get stuck into this F-14 Tomcat now. We'll pull it out. Okay, this is nice. It's got some nice weight to it. Oh, Sentry Wings do make some really killer-looking uh, F-14 Tomcats. And this one looks to be no exception, of course. We will have a little look at the uh, tomato, as it's called. Um, some, straight away, some great details on the tail. It's hard to see. The, the red is actually quite glossy, so it does reflect the light a little bit. I'm trying to have a little look at that uh, Grim Reaper there, which looks absolutely awesome. That looks fantastic. You can see the... Wing details there on the panel lines. It looks really nice. This does look pretty good. Definitely, definitely a nice looking unit for sure. This comes up beautiful. We'll have a, we'll have a little swing. We'll swing it around and have a little look on this side. You will no doubt agree, hopefully, with me that this looks absolutely beautiful. This is another fantastic looking F-14 Tomcat. The details on this are absolutely killer. That is great. These stabilizers also move, which is pretty cool. I suppose we should check the uh, swing wing. Oops. Seems a bit... This is a little bit resistant on mine. It's a little bit stiff on this one, but um, it does close nicely. It's not as smooth as some, but I reckon um, this does look really nice. And we'll flip it over and have a little look underneath and have a look at some of those details there. It's beautiful engine detail. Yeah, these, these Sentry Wing F-14 Tomcats are really nice. I do... And I do like an F-14 Tomcat, I've got to keep saying that. <laughs> Not just to remind myself, just to remind you guys, I, I am a bigger F-14 Tomcat fanboy. I think they are a absolutely fantastic looking aircraft. And um, I reckon it's no good looking at it incomplete. So what we'll do is we will kit this F-14B out and come right back and have a real good look at this thing. So the ordnance contained in the weapons packet is uh, this Tactical Air Reconnaissance Pod, but there is no ground ordnance in this. But uh, there is also these two Sidewinder missiles which you can use. There is also these six Sparrow missiles you can also use, as well as the traditional 
Missiles that are synonymous with the F-14 Tomcat, these awesome Phoenix missiles. So here we have it all kitted out. It does uh, set up really nicely. Uh, very straightforward. Um, the nose module just drops straight in. Um, the rear gear modules just drop straight in. And they all do roll, if that's your thing. So all, all wheels do roll. I set this up in the uh, Phoenix missile configuration. So it is the four Phoenix missiles that just run along the central fuselage on those little um, pylon areas. And then it does have those little tanks that you put on. And then, of course, um, the ordnance on either side. So a sidewinder on either side and a sparrow on either side. And that's how I sort of set this one up. Um, sort of a fairly normal configuration, I suppose. And I reckon it does come up really nice. And what we'll do is we'll uh, flip it back right side up and have a little look. And the, uh, the tomato is complete. <laughs> I reckon this uh, F-14B from the Grim Reapers does look really nice. And it sets up beautifully. Um, I reckon it, it comes up fantastically to be honest it's not a, not a bad looking unit and uh, it does have those bright red accents we'll try and have a little look at that Grim Reaper on the tail again as I said these the red accents are a sort of a gloss finish whereas the rest of the uh, aircraft is more of a satin finish as you can see and it does have some reasonable cockpit detail in there I will um, take some photos of the inside of the cockpit so you can see uh, see that a little bit easier inside there. And I think overall, this is a, another cool looking F-14 Tomcat. And as I said, I am a F-14 Tomcat fanboy and I do love these. We will zoom in a fraction for you. I will wind this video up and uh, I reckon uh, this F-14 from the VF-101 Grim Reapers from 1995 is a very nice addition if you can grab one it is well made paint application is nice i didn't really have any dramas um with the setup of it or anything like that and it's pretty straightforward so uh as i said once again this is from century wings it is the f14b tomcat from vf101 grim reapers from 1995 it is 170 second scale die cast and i i reckon it's a pretty cool looking unit uh another f14 i do love them and i hope you do too if you do give us a little bit of a like for this tomato and uh hopefully you do like it and if you have yet to subscribe to the channel feel free to do so as well i will take some happy snaps of the the tomcat here and chuck them up uh following the conclusion of the video which is winding up now so you can see it in all its metal glory without these fat ass sausage fingers in your face and uh hopefully you will enjoy those pictures if you stick around long enough and thank you for spending your valuable time watching another one of our videos i do appreciate it immensely all right guys you have a fantastic rest of your day cheers